I'm gonna make some cedar and juniper smudges out of those when they dry. I try to utilize every little piece that I can from all the stuff that I cut down. I'm gonna save these two pieces for a future project. See if we can make an actual spoon this time. And granted, this is my second spoon that I've ever made, so please cut me some slack here. I'm not a by any means a spoon maker, I'm not by any means a professional woodworker. It's just fun to whittle. There's just something really peaceful about a nice sharp blade whittling away wood. Yeah, I don't have the best spoon knives. I feel like if I had the right tools, better tools, I could be doing this a lot better. But I'm just learning anyways. It's what I do. Try to learn something new every day. Nobody ever taught me how to make spoons. I just kind of watched other people do it on YouTube and I go, you know what? I think I can do that. Might not be as pretty as everyone else's, but it'll do what a spoon does. It'll keep me warm at night. So I actually didn't get to finish the spoon outside today because I had to collect wood. But this is where I'm at with it so far. And we're going to finish it up tonight in front of the fire. Considering it's my second spoon, you know, it, it's getting there. I'm, I'm getting better at it. So we'll see what tonight has. 
in store with it. I'm gonna get a fire going though. You'll have to excuse the mess in here. It's been a couple of days since I've cleaned and I'm just honestly feeling a little bit lazy as far as sweeping up my floor. It collects. Just kind of, I got my bedroom space and I got my living space over here. The living space gets a little bit dirty, but it'll get cleaned here soon. 